Hey guys, Nixarity here and welcome back to Eternal Sonata. So I am literally right back where I left you guys. Um, I realized as I was level grinding that if I went down this hill here that um, I, I reached a cutscene and I didn't want you guys to miss that. So I think I'm far enough level wise that we can just go ahead here. At least I hope. That's a very interesting creature. Don't take all day. That was kind of terrifying. Not gonna lie. Ow. Ow. Sky divider. Sky divider. Sky divider. Have a nice nap. Ow. Sky Divider! Sky Divider! Sky Divider! Have a nice nap. Why can I not block that? Sky Divider! Sky Divider! Have a nice nap. Sky divider. Sky divider. Oh, that didn't work. That's a way. Your end is near. Not a chance. Now. Sky divider. Sky divider. Sky divider. Have a nice nap. Fire Wash yourself up. So I guess it wasn't a uh <laughs> All right. wasn't a cutscene. It's just a boss battle. All right. Which is usually followed by a cutscene, so ignore that. If we don't hurry, we're gonna get caught in the rain. So what? We can handle a little rain. I mean, the hideout's roof leaks like crazy. <laughs> And that's just when it drizzles. <laughs> Beat is adorable. Yeah, a point there. It just gets cold and soggy. Ooh. Raindrops. George Sand. Is it, it is impossible to tell a story of Chopin's life without the mention of this woman. I apologize if I'm pronouncing this incorrectly. George Sand was an extremely famous author in Paris who had already published numerous books. This is one of Chopin's pieces, by the way. Her real name was Aurora... Aurore Duvant. George Sand was her pseudonym. From 1838, Chopin would share his life with her for a long period, but... When they first met, he commented to a friend, Is that really a woman? Does it have tits? And it's a woman. No dick, it's a woman. Sand was somewhat, it was a somewhat masculine woman who wore pants and smoked cigars in public. Scandalous. Even her pseudonym, George Sand, was masculine. Well, yeah, but I mean. She was unswayed by society's more, mores and expressed herself unabashed. 
and the best lead, whatever. The romance novels she wrote were extremely popular. I think they might still be fairly popular today. Of course, Chopin himself was also a famous eh, was also famous as a pianist in Paris by this time. The relationship between the genius pianist and the popular author must surely have been the talk of the town. Fair enough. At the time, Chopin was not in the best of health and perhaps the attention paid to them by society aggraved his condition. Aggravated his condition. Sorry. I don't English well. During this time, Sand took Chopin to the Spanish island of Mallorca to allow him to rest. To avoid attention, they left Paris separately and rendezvoused at a village near the border. They found a place to live on Mallorca, and Chopin lived a happy life amongst the palm trees, orange trees, and pomegranates. Love pomegranates. Also love piano music, so this is just beautiful. Chopin's health appeared to be improving, but the island entered in, into its rainy la la, rent, entered its rainy season, and the warm weather vanished. God, I cannot talk today. Chopin caught a cold that eventually led to a relapse of tu uh, tuberculosis symptoms. At the time, tuberculosis was a terminal illness, and Chopin and Sand's landlord evicted them, fearing contagion. Aww. That's sad. After being forced from their home in 1939, Chopin and Sand arrived at the Veladimosa Monastery? I'm gonna butcher all of these pronunciations, I am terribly sorry. And the rain continued to fall outside. It's depressing. The sound of falling rain continued incessantly. The simple sound of raindrops blend together to form a dreary rhythm. It was under these circumstances that the song is said to have been born in a room in Valad Valademosa. A work created by Chopin at the age of 29. The journey to find rest ironically resulted in the worsening of Chopin's health. But George Sand devotedly stayed by Chopin's side, never fearing infection. There is little doubt that she was an invaluable source of comfort for Chopin. Oh, looks like it's finally started raining. You know... The rain makes the plants look even more alive. For Chinudo's flowers, the rain is a blessing from heaven. Aww, it's so precious. 
Okay, looks like more level grinding needs to happen, so I will be back shortly? Yeah, we'll call it shortly. See you guys in a second. Okay guys, I think I'm finally back. After grinding out like one level. Nope. I don't really feel like I need to grind out more levels because I'm at the same level as the other guys, so... We're just gonna keep going. Nothing over there. Ah, uh, yes, here's my save point. All right. So a friend of mine that's played this told me that there's a battle coming up here that I shouldn't waste my Healy items on because I'm doomed to fail anyway. So. Did you hear that? Guess I'm just gonna fight. It's starting to thunder now too. We should get out of this storm. Is there some place around here where we can take shelter? Hmm. I don't know. Hold on a second. Someone's coming. Oh, why hello there. Are you two out looking for something in this wretched weather? You look like a douchebag. I am looking for something myself, but I'm learning that it's not such an easy task when it's pouring down rain like this. Perhaps you wouldn't mind providing me with entertainment to ease my frustration. What? I really do hate it when my clothes get wet. Here I find the two of you just as I was starting to get irritated. I can't stand the smell of this forest, the plants, the animals, and the sweat coming from you people! What are you doing? Stop it! What the fuck is wrong with this bastard? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> um... Pew Grave! Take that! Pew Grave! Now you will rest. What? Ow. Here. I got dirt on my clothes. I'm so glad I knew I was doomed to fail. Oh dear, what am I doing? I really don't have time to play around here with the likes of you. I need to go find that glowing creature. Thank you kindly for the workout. Let me relieve some stress. I think I should be able to get back to my work now. I'm very grateful to both of you. I'm so glad I knew I was doomed to fail, because I could have wasted so many of my things. But what the fuck? I don't understand! Finally, it looks as though the thunderstorm has passed. How is Frederick's condition? Better. He appears to have settled down somewhat, just like the weather outside. I hope he's all right. His violent spasms have stopped for the time being. I think he's all right for now. He looks peaceful again. Perhaps he was startled by the lightning. Maybe that's what caused his seizure. Yes, madam, that may very well be true. But I have a suspicion that that wasn't the only cause. I think tonight will be crucial to his recovery. This doctor knows what's going on. Don't know why, but he does. Looks like all that rain and lightning have stopped. Thank goodness. Hey, Beat, did I see you shaking back there? What? No 
way. I wasn't shaking. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? You were hanging on to your camera for dear life, weren't you? Well, let's just hurry up and get out of here, okay? He's trying to protect his camera, okay, guys? Cameras are expensive and delicate. Oh, and we're back in this area. Okay. Okay. I don't really want to level anymore, so we're just gonna run on off through this same area that I've already been through. Avoiding any and all battles. already been through all of this. I just want to get through. Maybe the next cutscene, if there's another one shortly. There should be one. Nope, don't need to go up there. supposed to be the point where they all met up. So. There's a guy over here. Darn my wife, that old hag. I can't take it anymore. I always complaining day and night. Well, she's not going to be doing so much talking once I break her dentures like this. <clears throat> she can still talk without teeth, bruh. Place is neat. El Go Go Village. Butterfly. What? Oh, terrific. It finally stops raining, so of course now we find a house. <laughs> hey, I think I see someone over there. Lizard. Hello there. Um, do you live in this house? Yes, I do. My name is March. Nice to meet you. My sister and I are the guardians of this forest. So it's just the two of you? Alone? All the way out here? Must be tough. Not at all. I suppose it is dangerous sometimes, but my sister always manages to take care of things. Lately though, I must admit, I've been surprised at how many guests have been showing up around the forest. Are you awake already? You know, you could have stayed in bed longer if you wanted to. Huh? Where... Where am I? You were found lying unconscious at the upper entrance of the forest. The Agogos came to me and told me where I could find you. I think your friend is out taking a walk somewhere nearby. He kept mumbling to himself, something about trying to find inspiration for his music. <laughs> um, excuse me, but what are agogos? They're... hmm... well, they're round creatures. Huh? Round creatures? Anyway, <laughs> they don't approach human beings. And recently, the agogos haven't been showing themselves at all. You're a very lucky person. It's quite unusual for a Gogos to take a liking to a human. In fact, I still can't believe they came to me about rescuing a human being at all. This is the first time anything like that's ever happened. So the Agogos rescued me? Even though... even though I'm... Aww. I think maybe you should get some more rest right now. 
I'll fix you something warm to eat. Oh, I'm sorry, I just realized. I don't even know your name. Who, me? Well, I'm... You're Polka, right? What? You sell floral powder in Retardando. That's not creepy. I heard someone say your name once. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And that magic you used was really great, too. <laughs> hey, Polka, what's the matter? <laughs> you know my name, and I don't know you. <laughs> what wouldn't be the matter? Why'd she run off like that? Did we say something wrong? Oh, Polka, you're up. I've picked a snack for us. Or not. Shrooms? Did something happen? She really shouldn't be running around like that. She's only just recovering. That path doesn't go very far off, though, so at least she shouldn't get lost. Ah! Huh? That's Polka! Okay. Go save Polka. Now we have to concentrate on keeping these things away from Polka. Don't take all day. Phantom Wave! Your end is near. Sky 
Divider! Oh, that was a stupid thing to do. Sky Divider! Sky Divider! Have a nice nap! Oh, thank God. That was pretty tough. Whew. Right on! <laughs> Did you get hurt? I'm all right. Thank you. Thank goodness you're all right. Huh? What... what is that thing? Hmm. It's a little it's glowing one of white. Those go -go's that girl was talking about before. It's kind of weird. Look, Reddo. It's glowing. A go-go. Thank you for saving me. I've never seen one of those before. Oh, I know. I'll take a picture of it. Poof. Yep. <laughs> Where did it go? Great job, Beat. You scared it off by taking that stupid thing out. I wish I could have touched it. Not that you were moving. I'm sorry, Reddo. Aww. So your name is Beat? Agogos are probably very shy creatures. I'm sure it'll come out again. And I take it your name is Reddo. Is that short for something else? I'm Allegretto. I have a little store in Retardando. It's small, but we have a tough time keeping stuff in stock each day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, mm -hmm. enough about me. What's a powder seller like you doing way out here? <coughs> Are you headed somewhere? <laughs> I, uh... Gotta impress the girl. Mom, I'm going to see the Count at Forte Castle. Now is not the time to discuss this. We have a guest in the house. I told you, the reason floral powder isn't selling is because people can buy mineral powder so cheaply. I'm sure he'll understand if I talk to him. Polka dear, don't be foolish. You can't possibly go all the way to the castle in Forte by yourself. I've already made up my mind. Don't try to stop me. Polka. Dear, it's not that important if floral powder doesn't sell. We'll survive somehow. Polka, are you listening? Polka, please. If you can hear me, then answer me. Polka, are you listening? <coughs> nope. Oh, yes. I... I'm on my way to Forte. Determination. This year's new meme. I swear. That's a pretty long name. 
Could you say it one more time? Frederick Francois Chopin. Francois. But you can just call me Frederick. Frederick, huh? Okay, no problem. I'm really good at remembering people's names. What was it again? So Not just going to Fort kidding. Do you mean Forte Castle? Yes, I do. You should know that Forte is not a very friendly place right now. It's much nicer here in a go-go forest. The Count of Forte Castle is responsible for mining Mount Rock. He's been making some kind of medicine. Ah, you mean mineral powder, right? Yes, my sister Salsa is on her way there right now. She's going to ask them to stop the mining. I get it. And you stayed behind here to keep watch on things. If someone doesn't do something, the Agogos are going to lose their home. Huh? That's terrible. I was actually going to ask them to reduce the amount of mineral powder they're selling. Then this is perfect. I hope I'm not asking too much from you. But if you could possibly do me this one favor... Here! If you happen to meet my sister in Forte, could you give her this hat? But how? I mean, we don't even know what your sister looks like. That won't be a problem at all. You see, we're twins, so just look for someone who looks exactly like me. Gotcha. All right, then. I think we can handle that. Come on, let's get moving, Polka. We can go together. What? Go to Forte together? But I... Yes, good idea. I think that would be much better. We're all heading to the same place. We should stick together, right? Besides, if you collapse again, the Agogos might not be there to rescue you next time. Aww. Go together? Dear, it's not that important if floral powder doesn't sell. We'll survive somehow. Polka, are you listening? Polka, please. If you can hear me, then answer me. Oh, Mom, I'm sorry. The truth is, this is about more than just the floral powder. I don't have long to live, so I want to do something meaningful with that time. I think that meeting Frederick helped me realize what I really want to do with my life. I don't have much time, but I... I want to use my power for good somehow. I want to help as many people as I can. Before it's too late. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to worry about what other people think. If they're scared of getting sick and they want to stay away from me, that's fine. Up until now, every stranger has been my enemy. I'd convinced myself of that and couldn't trust anyone. But not anymore. Now I'm gonna start off by trusting people. Because if I can do that, then... I think I can become a Heaven's Mirror. Aww. Go together. Yes. I'd really like that. Aw. Okay. Then we should get going. Oh, Frederick. By the way, what are you gonna do? Oh, might as well tag along. I was heading for Forte as well. For what purpose? What? You're going to Forte too, Frederick? Oh, that's great. I guess that means we're all going to the same place. This oh, trip is really getting crowded, huh? March, thank you so much for everything. Don't mention it. 
And if you ever come through the forest again, please drop by. Ah, oh, darn! I wish I'd gotten another chance to take a picture of that glowing agogo. Oh, well. Are you still going on about that? You know you can just go back to that same cave again later. Allegretto's right. As long as some agogos show themselves, I'm sure you'll get to take a picture of them next time. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I wonder what they meant by a glowing agogo. I suppose it must have just looked as if it was glowing, because I've never heard of agogos glowing before. Chapter 2 Revolution. Forte Castle Throne Room. <laughs> Please, there is no need to do any such thing. What can Andantino possibly do? Do they think they'll start a revolution just by declaring they oppose the government? Still, my lord, we've received reports of Andantino engaging in activities to disturb the peace. Perhaps it would be best to nip this in the bud. <clears throat> Not but. Bud. Gato, stop worrying. Disturbing the peace is exactly what rebels do. Well, yes. But a revolution involves toppling a country's government. Do you really think Andantino is capable of doing that? No. No matter how many followers they gather, Forte Castle will not fall. Andantino knows that, perhaps better than anyone. Creepy. And yet they continue to fight. Why do you think that is? Revolution. On November 29th, 1830, an insurrection occurred in Warsaw, the capital of Poland. It was the November Uprising. At the time, most of Poland was Russian territory, and, desi uh, and desire for independence had been growing. About four weeks before the revolution on November 2nd, Chopin left the increasingly dangerous Warsaw and headed for Vienna. It's said that Chopin's friends encouraged him to leave the country because they knew rebellion was certain. But Chopin was unaware of this, and his trip had been planned many months in advance. Chopin was unusually talented, as well as physically weak. So his friends wanted him to use the piano as a weapon to fight for Poland. On November 23rd, approximately 20 days later, Chopin arrived in Vienna. And six days after that, the insurrection in Warsaw started. It went on for almost a year, then on September 8, 1831, Warsaw fell. Ten months of fighting had ended in defeat. Chopin, then age 21, learned of the insurrection's failure 
while in Stuttgart. Stuttgart, Germany? I don't know. Sorry. The feelings with which he played the piano at this time to take the form of his composition, the revolutionary elude, something like that. To Chopin, who genuinely loved his homeland of Poland, the insurrection's failure was difficult to bear. And perhaps he found it even more difficult to bear the fact that he was safe in a foreign country. Chopin would never set foot in his native land again. Pressing. Oh Didn't god, we're back to this guy. I asked you a question. Why does Andantino continue to fight? Well, I... Don't know the answer. It's because there is someone backing them. They're not stupid. They haven't stopped fighting because they think they have a chance to win. So that means our true enemy is the one who is backing Andantino. We'll let Andantino play out their game. They're no threat. And besides, Legato, we're already one step ahead of them. <laughs> Pretty music. Chorus Plains. Fitting. Achievement unlocked raindrops. Okay. Is there a save? Oh! Cool. Well, this episode has certainly gone on for long enough. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and click that like button. Subscribe for more great content. This is Nixarity signing off. See you guys next time. Bye.